Hi there, I'm John, a program manager on the LiveShare team, and I'm here to showcase a few new LiveShare features we've been working on that will help further enhance your collaborative editing and debugging experiences. So let's dive in. As you can see, I have an ASP.NET project open here in VS. I've already had my colleague, Mary, join this live share session because I want her help in solving an issue that I'm facing. We've previously shown editing features with live share, enabling you to collaboratively edit your code with someone you've shared with. Like we've shown before, I can see Mary's highlights and cursor in the file that she is editing. If Mary were to move to another location within the current file or another file in the project, I can click on her name at the top to jump to her location. While jumping to a collaborator's location is pretty useful in catching up with your teammate if you were collaborating in a session on different parts of the code, in this case, I shared my code with Mary because I really want to leverage her expertise in this area of the code. I really want to understand her process for diving into the code and solving the issue. I want to see what kind of files she's looking at or what sections of the code she scrolls to to get a better idea of the issue I'm facing. I could just keep clicking her avatar to jump to wherever she has moved to, but that can get a bit cumbersome, and it distracts from me learning about her process. So I'll try a live share feature called pinning. Next to Mary's name in the top right corner, when I hover over her name, I get a pin icon. When I click on the pin, I am pinned to Mary. When she moves her cursor within the file, my viewport follows along without me having to scroll to find her. If she moves to a different file in the project, the file that she opens is also open for me. If I click somewhere else, I'll be snapped out of following Mary so I can carry out my own work. This isn't just limited to me as the sharer of the code. Let's look at Mary's screen. With her VS Code on Mac open, joined to the project that I've shared with her, Mary also has a pin icon at the top right corner of the view that will allow her to pin to me. She might want to use this because I want to show Mary more context into my issue, like what line I think the issue might be happening on. With Mary pinned to me now, she can follow me around the code. Pinning is useful for a variety of scenarios when collaboratively editing code, and we hope it'll help you when using LiveShare. Next, let's dive into debugging. We've already covered the really cool collaborative debugging features of LiveShare. I'll start running the app, and both mine and Mary's debuggers are attached to the running instance of the app on my machine. We can both set breakpoints and step to the code. That time, Mary stepped. It should be noted that when I started debugging, as expected, the web app popped up on my screen. Additionally, the web app has popped up on Mary's machine as well. This is because the port the web app is currently running on on my machine has been forwarded to Mary. This is part of a larger live share feature called Share Local Server. With this feature, I can share the ports used by the app I am collaborating with Mary on. The shared ports are only available to those in the collaboration session, not broadly. When debugging, the port with the running web app is automatically forwarded to Mary. When we stop debugging, that port is unshared. I can see what ports are being shared with Mary by going into the Share menu and selecting Manage Shared Local Servers and viewing the pop-up dialog. As you can see, while I'm debugging, I'm sharing the web app. The applications of Share Local Server don't end with the web app. Let's say I'm also using a web or REST API and I want to share that with Mary to help with debugging. I can add another entry to the dialog with the name of the local server I am sharing and the port it is on. This sets up the sharing of the port. On Mary's side, she can go view the ports that I've shared with her and see what they are mapped to. Then she can go use Postman or other services to hit the REST API to further aid in debugging. I hope this gave you an idea of some of the other features that we will be bringing you with LiveShare that we didn't get to show in our other videos and presentations. We're really excited to bring LiveShare to you in the near future, and we expect to start inviting people to try out LiveShare soon after the new year.